Hello everyone. Today we're going to start reviewing how to set up a new project. So we need to go to our browser and go to Memsoap's page. We need to type in our login information and then click sign in. On the main interface we need to go to new. We need to add the name of our project. We need to select our source language. And then we also need to select our target language or languages and click create. We actually need to add the document that we wish to translate. So we will hit new. We will choose the file that we are going to be working on. And then we're going to hit create. We also need to add a translation memory to serve this document. So we're going to create new. We're going to name it. And then we're going to hit create. The same for um, the term base. So we need to create new, name it, and then hit create. Once we have done those two steps, we can actually click the document that we wish to translate. And this will take us to the editor where we can start actually working on our projects. This is an introduction to the essential functions for translation in Memsource. So this is the editor that I'm in right now. This is the actual area where you'll be doing the translation and not as much the online part where you're setting up the project and defining who's working on it and that kind of stuff. So the first thing that you want to look at is that uh, these boxes up here are green. If they're green, that means they're enabled. So this is the translation memory right here. This is the term base, and here is the machine translation. The machine translation option is something that is enabled or disabled when the project is being set up. So that's something that's defined by the project manager. And you just want to make sure that they're all green. If they're gray, it means you need to hook them up from the online platform. So what you do is just go through each segment as it's defined and translate it. For each segment, there will be some kind of suggestion over here in the boxes on the right. Generally, there's more than one suggestion. Um, one is, for example, this 101, which is something that's more than 100% match. It's completely safe. It's something that you have in your memory and you can plug right in. This blue one, MT, machine translation. Um, from what I can see, these generally need to be edited, but it does suggest that right off the bat. And then, of course, there will also be matches and fuzzy matches, but this is something that my, um, my translation memory doesn't have enough of from this document. So the, what it generally looks like is a sentence that shows the highlighted section that doesn't match, so you can go in and edit what doesn't match to make sure that the translation is accurate. So something that's really important as you're going through your translation is making sure that each segment is confirmed. A confirmed segment means that you can move on to the next one and that it won't, it won't be something that it will catch in the QA check, which we'll talk about later. You can also add comments, for example, this needs revision, and that will be something that's also in the QA check. So you can go through confirming segments and, and adding comments and doing your translation. To move through segments, it's really easy. You press Command Enter and it also recognizes pretty much all of the same commands as Word. So it's easy to bold things, italicize things, and basically match your formatting to that of the original text. Hello, I'm going to go over what happens when you are finally done with your project and ready to export it. Before you do that, of course, you will run a quality check on it. Memsource does have a quality check feature, which uh, does have quite a few things that it will look for. But again, how much it will find is, of course, contingent on how well you have developed your translation memory and your term bases. So in addition to looking for the obvious things such as spelling, it will also look for uh, incorrectly placed tags, issues with segments that you may have separated or joined, and these would be the segments here. It can also look for terms that the project manager has decided should be on a forbidden list. 
and it will look for other things very basic such as punctuation, formatting issues, um, empty spaces. It will flag them for you which is a nice feature. My quality assurance feature is going to be pretty rudimentary. I don't have very many terms in my translation memory or in my term bases. So you go to the bottom of the page and you hit QA. When this button up here is blue, then you click on that, you run it. it takes a little bit. And here I have my quality check or my quality assurance check. So in my case, again, because my translation memory is pretty rudimentary, it caught as spelling problems, a lot of words, which I am actually going to leave as is because they are correctly spelled. Um, I guess it's a good tip for me to go and add them into my translation memory and into my term bases so that they don't get flagged the next time. Now I'm ready to export this document into a format I can use. And here I have several different options. This one you would actually use if you were working with uh, Memsource offline. It's for the editor version. But I want to export it to a bilingual Word document. So I'm going to do that here. And um, now it should be downloaded. And here it is. And voila, it is done. Thank you for your attention. And I hope this was clear. In addition to regular cat tool functions, Memsource's cloud dashboard offers many other features that can be of use to freelance translators. One of the best assets of Memsource is the tool it provides for determining pricing on a translation project in the combination of the Analyze and Net Rate features. Let's start by reviewing the Net Rate feature. Net rates are accessible from the Setup section of your Memsource cloud account. Simply click on Setup in the upper right hand corner of the screen here. Then scroll down Scroll down and select net rate schemes from the list of available server settings. This will bring you to a page that displays all of your active net rate schemes. You can click new to create a new net rate scheme or click on the name of an existing net rate scheme to modify it. Let's modify this existing net rate scheme for now. As you can see here, the net rate scheme setting allows you to modify the rates that you charge based on fuzzy matches from either your translation memory or machine translation. The numbers listed here represent the percentage of your normal rate that would be applied for segments with the indicated match percentage. The lower the number, the less you'll charge. This is why you see lower numbers on the higher percentages, because there's less translation work that needs to be done. However, Memsource never defaults to a 0% rate because you'll always do some work in reviewing a translation, even if it's a perfect match. For now, let's leave this net rate scheme at the default and move on to the Analyze feature. The Analyze feature can be accessed through the Projects tab in Memsource Cloud. First, click on the project you'd like to analyze. Next, scroll down and click on the job file that you'd like to analyze. You see now that the Analyze button is blue, so you can click it. Clicking on the Analyze button will open up a window that allows you to select the settings for your analysis. As you can see, there are different types of analysis that can be performed and different parameters you can set. For now, let's just use the defaults and name our analysis Test. Once you, the analysis has been created, you can access it from the project screen under the Analysis section. To view the analysis, simply click on its title. This brings up a pop-up window that shows you the analysis of the job you've selected. It provides a breakdown of the document, which indicates how many words or characters are included in the document in total, as well as how many fall into the different match percentages. This analysis also displays the effective net rate of your document based on your net rate scheme. You can use this information to determine how much your customer should be charged based on your dollar per word or dollar per character rate, taking a lot of the harder math out of getting paid for your work.